Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. UNCR, Universal Center for Renovation. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8 and 32. Judeo-Syrians, Dura Europus. Judeo-Syrians. The four tetrarchs, Judeo Syrians, the book of Acts, chapter two, verse five, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Acts chapter 2 verse 9 Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia Phygia, and Pamphylia, and Egypt, and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God, Yahweh. The Roman Empire, 68 BC to 476 AD. Dera Europis was a buffer zone and a crossroad between the Roman Empire and the Parthian Empire. Dera Europis was a crossroad for the world, the border of the Roman Empire, the West, and the Parthian Empire, the East. The Mithras Temple was originally a religious philosophy from Persia, the Parthian Empire, but it eventually became popular among the Roman legions, or rather the Judeo-Syrians, who became the dominant group in the military. The Judeo-Syrian Roman soldiers became the Knights of the Middle Ages. Coat of the Invincible Sun, the religion the Roman soldiers used to govern the empire.
They used the mistress cult to manage the military and control the Roman Empire. The cult of Saul Invictus, the Invincible Son. Their religious beliefs were based in Christianity mixed with Mithraism. This spiritual corruption eventually led to their downfall and the revolutions of the serfs of Europe. Now, this is an article that you can read to help you understand what Emperor Diocletian did to place Roman citizens into a state of serfdom. The Roman Road to Feudal Serfdom. Here's a post from 10 years ago. It features some important history from ancient Rome. History that's important because of the relevant warning that it offers to us today, namely government economic interventions in general and mandated price controls in particular are barbarous. Feudalism sparked by Rome's regulations. On page 642-643 of Wells Durant's remarkable book, Caesar and Christ, he discusses Diocletian's economic policies. Diocletian reigned from 282 to 305 AD. In years of peace, Diocletian, with his aides, faced the problems of economic decay. To overcome depression and prevent revolution, he substituted a managed economy for the law of supply and demand to ensure the supply of necessaries for the cities and the armies he brought many branches of industry under complete state control in 301 Diocletian and his colleagues joint rulers of an administratively divided empire issued an edictum de pretis. The edict was into our time the most famous example of an attempt to replace economic laws by governmental decrees. Its failure was rapid and complete. Durant goes on to explain how these economic regulations combined with higher taxes caused people to engage in unprecedented levels of hiding their productive activities from the state and into fleeing Rome. Medieval feudalism, Durant argues, finds its chief root in the restrictions that Diocletian and his successors imposed as they attempted to tie people to the land in order to prevent them from fleeing. Diocletian resorted to measures that in effect established serfdom in fields, factories, and guilds. Durant concludes this discussion with the sorrowful observation that relatively few Romans protested as they apparently were hoodwinked into believing that in exchange for their freedom, they were gaining greater security. A telling tale. Seventeen eighty nine.
friends. One of the major factors leading up to the revolution and uprising of the French people was that the vast majority of them lived in a state of slavery or serfdom since the time of Emperor Diocletian. Most of the events we read about in history, such as Columbus' discovery of the Americas or the Seven Year War and the Christianization of Europe was events involving a minority of players, namely the nobility and middle class. The vast majority, or 85%, was not involved in these events. They worked the land and was not mobile. Seventeen seventy six, the United States. The Revolutionary War, also known as the American War of Independence, was part of the movement of subject peoples breaking away from the authority of European monarchs. King George the Third, George Washington, or King George the Third versus George Washington. Seventeen 